In this episode, we arrive in Suriname, South America, and head up the river to Waterland Marina. Okay, good morning. We had a lovely sleep last night, and now we are gonna up the anchor and head up the river to Waterland, further into the Suriname River. We're all really excited about having arrived. Um, we're kind of on a bit of a high, I guess. Um, Ewan's jumping about on the deck, Darry's documenting everything visually, Rowan's in charge of navigation, and, and I feel really just relieved that we, you know, managed to get across the Atlantic and nobody, I didn't lose any kids, <laughs> and they're all safe, and um, that we can, you know, do these adventures and the kids can have these amazing experiences, take some risks, but we can all remain safe. I suppose that's always my worry underneath it all. But um, yeah, I'm feeling really good that, that we've arrived and there's been no, no dramas really for a change. <laughs> you and me, we're family. The bond that we share is as deep as the sea. No matter how rough things may come to be, you and me. Okay, so we are just heading up the river and we are at the point now where the river divides. We're kind of following these um, markers along the channel and we've got still got our um, two different charts, electronic charts, Navionics and another one. We're turning to starboard now um, to head past the town and up to Waterland. So that's where the one river meets the other river. Oh God. Look, look at this rock! Looks like we're also on land now because the um, plotter chart hasn't seemed to update it, it doesn't show the river. Yeah, so as we go along the river we can see that the kids are really fascinated with everything, like we all are really. I mean, we've been at sea for three weeks, you take everything away from everyone and then when you see it again, you appreciate everything so much. I mean, like the smells are always the first thing, I think. You can just smell everything. There's lots of birds over there, and apparently they're actually vultures, because we've seen on the binoculars, the first time I've ever seen a vulture in my life. houses, you know, plants, animals, everything we see, we all appreciate it because we've not had it for three weeks. I think we particularly noticed that with our teenager, Rowan, because, you know, she's normally on Wi-Fi a lot, chatting to her friends, you know, I know that's really healthy stuff, and that's really good, but she's not been able to chat to anyone, there's not been any Wi-Fi for three weeks, and we still haven't got it, and um, we've seen a massive change. She's kind of so much more engaged in everything, and just seems so much happier and more confident. We're just reaching the um, city of Paramaribo, which is the capital city of Suriname. So you can definitely see the uh, Dutch influence with the buildings and everything. Uh, and actually there's some uh, Dutch naval vessels over there or patrol boats, um, because uh, I'm not sure whether Suriname is still uh, a Dutch colony or whether it's um, just under the protection of, uh, of the Dutch flag. We're about to go under this bridge. Um, apparently it is high enough, but I always get nervous going under bridges because it never looks as high as it actually is. So I guess this must be where the tankers come in to um, 
load and offload all of their cargo. Wandering for years, I was adrift, directionless and wayward, lost like a swallow on a cliff. But slowly, I found purpose, and my life became more clear. I found my destination, yeah, but now where do I go from here? Cause I'm already there. I'm already everywhere I'm already there I'm already everywhere I've got a wife, two kids and a picket fence Everything was hazy, now it's making sense Alright, I made it, so now what? I paid my dues in factories I worked until I bled So we've got to be here for about two weeks um, so I'm just back pushing the, the water maker just putting some um, fresh water through it um, and hopefully that will push the salt water out from the outside of the membranes and uh, preserve it for a few weeks In my comfy car I drive away but there is nowhere left to go Cause I'm already there I'm already everywhere I'm already there I'm already everywhere What are you doing? Oh, I'm cleaning the cockpit um, and there's lots of ants so I'm trying to kill them too Well, you get these <coughs> clumps of grass and weed floating down and they get stuck on the pontoon, but the thing is, they're usually covered in snakes, so you've got to get them flowing past as quickly as possible before they get on the boat. No one ever told me that when the race is done. So I'm making the mosquito covering things for the um, hatches. The crowd goes home and you're still standing on that. Hey, so, um, yeah, we had this fantastic idea of opening up these bilges to store loads of cans, but um, it doesn't seem to be working because I think all of these cans have just burst inside. So there's a bilge full of lemonade, orangeade, different selection of beers, um, and it's just, it was just full of that and everything was kind of swimming in it. Um, I think what's happening is the pressure as we're moving the boat moving up and down, I think partly that's banging them, but also just the actual pressure, the heaviness on the cans, I don't think they can handle it. That is two weekends gone. Okay, I'm going to give you a little tour of Waterland Marine Resort. Um, as you can see behind me is the bridge and um, that leads to the pontoon where our boats are. So if you go along here, this is the kind of restaurant area. So there's plenty of tables here and this is where we do a lot of schooling. And then if you carry on walking through, this gets quite full at the weekends, but down here there's lots of tables to sit, so that's kind of like the main restaurant area and the bar. 
kind of like this beach here. This is where I've been doing a bit of yoga in the mornings. So because this, uh, there's, we're in the river, there's piranhas and there's like lots of dangerous things. So you're not allowed, so you have to stay in there for a limited time. You're not allowed to go if you have a cut and uh, you're not allowed to push, but apart from that, you can go swimming. So it's a good job there's loads of other fun stuff to do at Waterlands. This stuff is called a husk and it can be used for insulation, used for charcoal and also apparently um, they actually use this as fertiliser in farms and that's what most coconuts are farmed for around here. There's this wonderful canopy here, it's really shaded and the sloths live up there somewhere in the trees. There's a few bugs and everything. Then the uh, underfloor. Well, it's kind of like where all the small trees are. And then the cabin tree. Cabin tree, I don't, I, I can't pronounce it. But it's like where all the bushy trees are. Like kind of small trees with the bushes. And then that's where most of the animals live in the Amazon rainforest or the rainforest. So they live pretty high. Then there's emergence, it's like the top of the tree, around there. There's 9,000 species of birds in the whole entire world. There's 3,000 species of birds in the all rainforests. So there's a lot of animals in the rainforests. There's like 100% um, land area and all rainforests in the world take 7% of all land area in the world. There, um, there's a fact about a um, plant and it's called an orchid and every day they find like about a new, a new species of orchid so there's like a lot of types of orchids. Okay kids, grab a stick. We're gonna go and see something amazing in nature. This is called Mimosa. I'm not sure about the Latin name. Watch what I do. Oh That's my so god! Cool. How do you know about that? What oh my mean? god, that's cool! Is it it's meant to catch bugs? Look at it. Why does it do that? a really nice place where everyone just sort of hangs out. Okay, yeah, so this is like the chill out area. These are all our fellow sailors. Hi. 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 Yeah. 
I found an accidental egg in my Indonesian soup. This is how to eat wherever this is. So, you get some rice in the spoon, like this, and then you put a bit of soup in, and then perfecto. What's in the soup? Fish, beans, sprouts, and everything. Yeah. Oh, it's a This is the um, road that leads up to the main gate. This garden is beautiful, so Noel, who um, owns this place, he planted most of this. And um, some of it's native and some of it he's brought over, but it's such beautiful plants and flowers. Cheers, welcome, Cheers. welcome guys. This is a great place to make landfall after crossing the Atlantic, but stay tuned for the next episode when we check in with immigration and have some fantastic kayaking adventures. Binoculars. A big thanks for watching and especially thanks to our patrons who make these videos possible. If you'd like to become part of the patron family then follow the link in the description below or just put Mothership Adrift Patreon and I'll take you to the right place. We would really love to hear from you, so if you'd like to leave comments then go to our Facebook page or Instagram or even to our Patreon page where you can connect to us immediately. And if you want to do it, do it. Hey, long for the ride, oh, hey, I'll stay by your side.